So I got a lot of people saying how they want they want to see me do some more cooking. So I'm back at it again. But this time though, we're making some fish tacos. Watch this. <laughs> so for starters, we got some fresh cod. Or in Italia, what they say is meruzzo. It's like some fish with some bones in it. Good, good, cooking with bad. Is that my theme song? Let's go ahead and you know dry it off real quick. You see, I took off my watch. Took off my ring, babe. It's the only time I take off my ring. I promise. Don't I said like a, I said like a clown, but don't get hurt. For real though. We doing we doing beer battered fish tacos, right? So of course, main ingredients we're gonna be using is real simple. All you need is beer and the stuff to make the fish, like the flour. That's it. Just the beer and the flour. Dip in the stash real quick. You can't see my stash. No. Dip in the stash real quick. Boom. Frittori. That's what that is. It's exclusive. Yeah, I should have told you that. It's Italy. It's Italia. It's Italy. We it's out here. It's we it's lit. Clink, clink, clink. Desperados. Mm -hmm. It's like some some um, tequila flavored beer. Let me see that. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Oil. I'm using peanut oil or arachide. Huh? Arachide. That's the arachide. Anyway, that's not how you say it, really. Anyway, you just put the put the oil in there enough that it's gonna be like a little swimming pool for the fish. You know what I mean? All right. Just take some of that. You want to do like a cup, like a cup or something. I'm not gonna measure it, but like a cup. I don't know. You just pour, just pour some in there. You know what I'm saying? Just pour it in there. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm doing. You just do it. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. Anyway. All right, so then, you know what I'm saying? You just pour the, board, pour the beer in. But you pour it slowly, though. You pour it slowly like that. That's like a cup. Are you sure? No, I'm gonna whisk that up. And look, you see how it's so clumpy? It's all dry. Yeah. I mean, you need, you need more liquid. Oops. I like that pancake batter consistency. You smell it, it smells like beer. You know what I mean? But it's not gonna taste like beer. It's gonna taste good. And look, believe it or not, at this stage, you don't need no seasoning yet. Trust me, I'm gonna add the seasoning. Just trust me, but you don't need it yet. It's all you need is right here, just a bag, all right? And that's good, I can tell that's good. It's like that, pan, that, that pancake bag of consistency, that's all you need. They gave me the fresh fish and it had the skin on it and I was like, yo, I don't know. Oh no! I don't know, but you can eat it. And you can do it. And we did it last time and you can't even taste it. Like, it's gonna fry up, it's gonna be like nice and crispy with all that. What's gonna be good? All right, so for this part, you just throw the fish in there. That's all you gotta do. Just throw it in there, one after the other. That's all you gotta do. That's all you need. You just want like some fresh cod. You know what? I watched. Let me give y'all some advice real quick, y'all. Oh, no. I know I didn't go to school for this, but I watched Rachel Ray video one time, and she said, for the fish, how you know it's good is like if you touch it, and it kind of like bounces back a little bit. That's good. If you if it's if you touching it, it's all like falling apart and stuff like that. Then it's not good, all right? Shout out to Rachel Ray, man. I mean, we be using her pots and all that. Come holler at me and my wife, you know what I'm saying? You know, one on one, just and my wife, you know, I ain't trying to get in trouble with all that. Anyway, the time I had that doing that, huh? you know, remember I had the pan getting hot. Oh, if, you, if you a kid watching our video, don't try this at home, all right? You need to get some supervision in your life. If you trying this at home and something happened to you, Johnson Family TV is not paying your bills. We can't even pay our own bills. <laughs> Scared of it. Don't be trying to drop it and all that. Just lay it down nice and pretty. You know, you got to treat it like a woman or a man, whatever your preference is. But you got to treat it you like you care about it. You know what I mean? A little, a little two at a time. Come on, slide down, slide down. They don't want to slide down. It's all good. I'm not going to burn my fingers up trying to slide it down. That's dumb. Use a fork? Look, my baby went to college, yo. She said use a fork. Ah! Slide it down a little bit. I was telling my wife just the other day, she didn't believe me. Why the whole time when I was a kid, 
I kind of had like this dream, like of being like a cooking on a cooking show, a cook on a cooking show, right? It's because my man Martin Yan, he used to have that show, be like, Yan can cook. Shout out to PBS, man. So you see how, even though I didn't flip it, it's starting to get some color on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it now. Just bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Just gonna go ahead and flip it. You see, this is what I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to get like batter all over, like how this one is. See how you see nothing but batter? That's what you want. So all you gotta do right now is, some people, they take it out and they put it on paper towels. But I Googled it and that's not the way to go, right? What you wanna do is, you wanna use something like this where you can just, this is just a regular pasta strainer and you just wanna have it dripping into something else. That's how you wanna drain the grease. Just have it dripping. Take it out. Take the second one out. When I said I was gonna put some season on it, come on, Maryland, Maryland, hey. Maryland. We out here. That's all you need. Put some obey on it. Put some obey oh, no. on it. Put what the hell? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. All right, all right, all right. Leave me alone. Look. You went back to the SpongeBob Look. days. While it's still wet. While it's still wet with the grease. Put some obey on best. it. Put some obey on it. A little bit on on each side. Not too much now. I don't want to throw some pepper on it too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I normally do this, but we just, I'm just feeling it right now. That's what I like to do, man. Sometimes when I cook, I just start to, I feel it. I just gotta, you gotta go, you gotta go with your flow, man. Well, just me, by myself. You know, like I said, I had to send the wife away. She's cytophobic. Huh? Like, she don't like to see what I'm cooking, like what I'm putting inside the food. We're gonna do based on this. Take some of this. Right? Some mortis. Boom. Special. That's special. You already know from my last video. You should already know. This the most important part. You gotta taste it. See that? That's it. Yo, that's it. That's a hit. That's classic. All right, we in the final stages. So like I was saying earlier, the most important part is the tortillas. You got to use the frying pan. You gotta toast them joints. Some light olive oil, you know. Olio, extra bit of DNA, de alubia. Do more than one at a time, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, right? That's light work. The old Del Paso joints. Like that, rub it in there, flip it over. If you got a smaller pan, you want to do one at a time, do one at a time. By the way, this is that Rachel Ray pan. Yeah, ah. Rachel Ray, shout out Rachel Ray, come holler at your boy and your girl, both of both us at the same time. All right, so you can use cabbage on it. Some people use cabbage. I couldn't find no cabbage, so I just got a little bit of lettuce. It's just for like a little crunch, plus you don't feel so bad eating it because it's kind of like a vegetable flow. Let's get the pretty side on the outside, so we're gonna put that side on the outside because you know, looks is everything. And just, just wanna fill it up though. Just arrange it, boom, like that, nice and pretty. A couple pieces of, of lettuce, tiny bit, dab it on there. And for me, I'm the kind of person, I like a lot of sauce. I don't. And this is a lot right here. Right, for my wife, I'm not gonna put this much on there. Boom. I could go get a knife. I'm gonna go ahead, and show you. You fold it up and you serve it. Show you the cross section. Cause I don't feel like getting a knife, so you know, use a fork. Keep it go. And you know. Boom, that's the fish taco. Serve it like that. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Serve it like that. Moment of truth. 
Look, people, people be mad extra when they be tasting their food. I'm not even gonna be extra. I'm gonna try to be honest. All right, try to be honest. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Wow. It's so good. Mm. Now, guys, it's like, yo, it's like, it just, it just like a fish taco. Yo, it's so good. Give it up a bite. Awesome. Mmm. You like it? Hey, she likes it. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. That's shimmy. Mmm. Sauce is not, I'm telling you, that little bit of sauce go a long way. Mm -hmm. And, uh, is the skin nice and crispy? The inside yeah. is fish. It's, I don't know, it's good. It's good. It's good. I don't, I'm out of descriptive words, but it's good. Mm hmm. Mmm. Ah! Hope you enjoyed this video. We made some banging fish tacos today. Super easy. Anybody could do it. If you got anything that you, any other recipes that I should try on the next video or something like that, let me know because I love cooking. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we just, we just gonna keep it going. We we'll keep it going. Like, comment, subscribe, press the bell, please. Johnson Family TV. Happy holiday! Thanks for watching. Shout out to my man Martin Yan. Just wanna leave y'all with these closing words. If Bub can cook, you can too. Yeah.